everybody. Happy Sunday. I don't even know what I'm doing today. I'm gonna let you guys start coming out. I'm just gonna do some demos of some gadgets. I'm looking at myself in the mirror this morning and it was a late night. So, hi, hello, hello. Hi, everybody. I'm a little late today. It was my daughter's, um, it was the kickstart to like the countdown for the wedding, for my daughter's wedding. And so we were in Malibu at my future um, son-in-law's parents' house. And so we didn't get home till like 1.30 in the morning. So I'm a little bit lagging today. How's everybody doing? Hello. I'm trying to get this thing open. Um, I'm just gonna do a little bit of catch up today. I feel like I've got a little bit of um, irritation from the dermaplaning yesterday. And what is interesting to me is that when you look at, oh shoot, I didn't turn off, I didn't turn off my notifications. I hope that this goes okay. Um, when you look at my face, the side that I did the um, shaving cream on, and I shaved this side with um, a regular razor, this is the side that's irritated. The other side that I did dry has much less irritation. Again, I'm lagging today, you guys. It's not my best look. <laughs> um, very, very tired. Do you put anything under your silicone patch? No, you guys, you can't put anything under, sorry, I forgot I had this on. You can't put anything under the silicone patches or else they won't stick. So this is very sticky because my skin is dry and what these do, let me see if I have it here. This is the one I have on. This is my favorite for the chest. Um, because I am a side sleeper and although I have many contraptions for the girls to not make the creases, they're really not nice to wear. And this is, you know, almost invisible. And so this is my favorite because the sticky stuff lasts the longest on this. This is on my Amazon store, but that's the one that I use for the chest. I use different ones by Wrinkle Schminkles for something else, but they come in these bags like this and there's two this one I think has, this is the four pack. So there's two packets like this. Um, and then the sil there's two silicone patches in each one. So they're all, no, yes and no, because they're, somebody just said, are they all pretty much the same? Um, I do like, I do like the wrinkle schminkles one for the eyes and various things like that. This one I have found for the chest sticks the longest, and this is a nightly thing for me. So I wear this every single night, because if I don't, I'll get these little lines right here. So I love this because I think one of these will probably last me a good eight times. Um, a good eight times I can use this. So I don't have my mushroom coffee today. I hope my husband's on here and he hears that. <laughs> hint, hint. Um, I'm a little bit late, so I'm just, la I'm just dragging a little bit. Um, okay. Drinking a little green tea though. Um, I wanted to do a little, I was looking at my elbows last night in a, in a photo. This is going to sound crazy, but, um, I want to do a little bit of RF on the back of my arms because you guys have seen me do all kinds of stuff to my face, but you haven't really seen me do RF or microcurrent on the back of my arms. And I wanna see if I can get this to kind of lift up a little bit. I mean, come on, you guys, we all have this. Listen, our, our arms have to bend, <laughs> right? Just like our necks have to turn, we need some skin there to be able to do that. If this was completely tight, I wouldn't be able to bend my arm. So this is normal, you guys. We're not looking for perfection. Our bodies are made this way but we can try to lift this up a little bit, right? Cause this, when we lose our collagen, we lose our muscle as we get older. That's why you have to start lifting weights after the age of 30. Um, Cause that's when we start losing muscle. When we lose muscle back here on our tricep and we lose the collagen, then we get a little bit of the, the fat that infiltrates the muscle, which is really hard to lose weight after that. But you could also have like a little pinch of fat here that happens on the back on the under part of the arm. And so what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna use a little RF to try to lift this up a little bit. I think that's my plan. I had no plan coming into this. Like, I don't know, I just gotta get on camera. I don't know. It's my Saturday, Sunday, so that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna try a little bit of, I love this. This is by Metacube. I'm gonna try a little bit of this. Oh, just even without this even turned on. You see the way that this grips your, your flesh in there? It just is like, 
really nice lymphatic drainage and that's even with it off. I could use a little massage right now. Okay. All right, um, I'm gonna get going. Okay, I'm gonna use, yeah, let me do, I'm gonna use a little hyaluronic acid first. This is the Costa Baja, you guys. You guys have seen me use this so many times because it's relatively inexpensive and it comes in a big squirt too, which is always nice. The silicone brushes you can get on my Amazon store. What are we gonna do? Um, I'm gonna do the Lumo. Okay, I think this is what I'm gonna do. Before I do that, I kinda wanna like get the bags off of my eyes. My eyes are looking so tired right now. Is anybody else tired out there? I feel like this six days until my daughter's wedding countdown is, um, I'm just, I need a little bit of a down day. I think after this, I'm just gonna take the day, the rest of the day off. I'm gonna just move this out to, what am I even using here? What is this one called? This is the Derma Flawless Eye. I started this new system, you guys. There's so many gadgets here because I get sent stuff that I started this new system when I couldn't find the charger for my Dr. Pin. Um, oh, somebody said I ordered the Lumo under you. I'm gonna do the Lumo on the back of my arm. I'm gonna do, I think what I'm gonna do is Metacube on the back of one arm. I'm gonna do Lumo on the back of the other arm. I kind of wanna see, you know, short term, which one is better. But right now I'm just heating up the, my under eye with this Derma Flawless Eye. And then I also have, oh, I have the Nurse Jamie um, eye, eye Onyx. I think that's that's what that's called. But Lumo also makes, Even Skin also makes one. And I think, think I wanna go grab that. Let me see if I have that anywhere here. Hold on, you guys, don't go away. Hold on, I'm looking. Um, I ordered this vanity that's downstairs. Oh, here it is. This is the Even Skin Venus, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that on the other eye. I just kinda wanna see. Both these devices um, are not RF, they just kind of heat the dermis up, and so it can kind of tighten that. I feel like this needs a little bit of work. So it has a little heat, a little sonic vibration. Um, the, unlike RF, you don't have to keep this moving. The other, you know, the RF devices, you have to continually move, um, this one you don't. So these kind of devices, you can't do RF close to your eye, you guys, because RF goes through the epidermis. So if you're inside the occipital bone and you're doing RF, your eyeball is is <laughs> going to get really messed up. So the, that's why they came up with these kind of devices that use heat and, I, and um, sonic vibration. And the main purpose of this, yes, <coughs> so sorry. No, it was a late night. Um, yes, the the heat will help a little bit with collagen synthesis, um, but it's mostly you're you're doing lymphatic drainage. So just the design of the devices help to push the fluid and the sonic vibration help to push the fluid out. So whenever you're doing anything like these, this is the Nurse Jamie Ionics. This is the Venus by Even Skin. I don't know why I have two of them. Um, but when you're doing something like this, the main reason why you're doing this is to push that fluid out to where those drainage channels are. So your lymphatic drainage on your face is under, is on top of that ear. So you've got a trough there. Um, okay, get a little bit. You want to make sure when you're doing these, you don't, you're not tugging on the skin. So the device should just glide really evenly. And let's see if I can get this eyelid to lift. Oh, I think the doggy one's in. Let me go let him in. Hold on. I'm going to still do this. Don't go away, guys. I hope you're having a great Sunday. You want to come in, Ollie? Come on in. Yeah, Graham's right here. Okay. I'm just going to do this just for a little bit, and then I'm going to move on to the back of my arms, because just want to... You see, you guys, how this already kind of brightens this area up? That's just a simple, simply moving the fluid out will brighten this area up. You see how this eye looks different? Now everybody's got, our faces are not symmetrical. So we're not looking for complete symmetry. The way that your face forms in the womb is it forms from the outside to the front. So it, your face forms like that and it's, it would be very rare and very freaky if we were exactly symmetrical. So never start trying to aim for that, that's what gives our face personality. 
Okay, but you can see just by doing that how much brighter this side is. And that's just a little warmth, a little sonic vibration, a little lymphatic drainage out towards that outside. Oh, my husband did hear me. I'm the best husband in the world, I swear. Thank you, honey. Okay, have my little mushroom coffee. Um, I'm so obsessed with this mushroom pot coffee. Why, it's like so good for me to break my fast with that. I feel like it's doing something for my brain. Okay, I'm gonna, I just, one eye with this. This was, is the Derma Flawless. I'm gonna wipe this down, let me wipe this down. That's just hyaluronic acid, so it's not gonna do any harm to just wipe that down. If I can get it to shut off, that would be nice. Okay, that's going in it. I wanna do the other eye with the Venus. I just wanna see if there's a difference. Do a little hyaluronic. Okay. Woo! This is why I have two. I think this one broke and it was too noisy. And they sent me another one. Let me see if this one. There you go. That's what it's supposed to sound like, you guys. Yeah, so this one vibrates a little bit. How do you how do you double up on collagen? How many days do you do it for? So when I do anything that um, causes microtrauma, so anything that's on the epidermis or even radio frequency sometimes, you know, you're, you're tickling that, the collagen and you're restructuring it and then it takes a little bit to grow back, that's when you wanna double up on your collagen. For me, I've been using the Modere, which based on the science, and all the studies, that's the best one. Can I adopt you? Totally, like I already have four kids, but <laughs> sure, there's always room. <laughs> um, so based on the, on the science and the independent studies, that collagen that I use, um, Modere is the number one collagen. In fact, there's a lot of different people, a lot of different companies that cite the research from Modere as the fact that collagen works, but they're not having other than the Luma with RF device, do you recommend? Um, I like the tri, uh, let me see if I have it here somewhere. Um, so, somebody asked, besides the Lumo, what's the RF that I recommend? Um, there's a couple, gosh, I have to go over there. Hold on one second, don't leave you guys, let me see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna answer this question. Um, I started to do, oh, I know. This is a good one. This is the tripolar. Um, so this is a good RF. Um, yeah, they, there's a lot of good reviews on this. And then what else did I have that I use that's RF? I'm, I'm testing out this giant device that works for the body. So I'm gonna be bringing a lot more stuff um, in these lives in terms of how do you, you know, address skin around the body, especially like things like this. You know, as we get older, this part kind of bothers me. And so I'm gonna address that. I just wanna brighten up my eyes a little bit, you guys, cause it was a late night. It was a late night. Hi, everybody who's just coming on. I'm just gonna, I'm trying to, I'm trying to lymphatically drain just because it was a very late night. It was the first night of celebration of my daughter's wedding. The actual wedding is on Saturday. So I've got six days. The Chinese tea ceremony, my daughter's half Chinese. The Chinese tea ceremony is on Friday. Um, and we're hosting a welcome party here after that and then the weddings on saturday oh so quick um i bought the modera should i double up on it those days before and after not before you don't need it before but as soon as you microneedle i double up on my collagen so instead of the one tablespoon twice a day i'm taking two tablespoons twice a day or i'll just instead of twice a day i'll do one tablespoon four times that day that's how i like to double it up so it's kind of always those precursors for collagen are always in your system. You guys, it doesn't work the way you think it is. You can't drink collagen, it stays in that same molecular uh, you know, composition and then it goes to your skin. It doesn't work like that, it still goes through your digestive system, but it, uh, the precursors to then make it in your body is in your bloodstream so you have it all that. Your daughters are gorgeous, thank you so much. Um, yeah, I've got three biological kids that are half Chinese, and then I have a, an amazing stepson that I'm so grateful for that really has um, completed our family. So, yes, thank you so much. Okay, I'm going to do the back of my arms now, you guys. This is as bright as my face is going to get. But you can see, even by me doing the Venus, by even skin on one side, 
And the other one that I just did, I think I put that down there. Um, God, I, don't even, I don't even know where that is. My whole table is a mess. Um, but you can see it's just the heat and the sonic vibration that kind of opens up the eye and lymphatically drains. So if you guys replay this, you'll see when I, when I first came on, I'm like, you know, just not looking my, de my best. And now it's like, oh, okay, there's my eyes. I'm Dutch, I need to be, um, God, I need you to be my mom. <laughs> oh my God, I have enough kids. But sure, why not? Okay, so now I'm gonna do the back of my arms. And this is when, <laughs> when you're doing big body parts, you guys don't spend a lot of money on conductive gel. You don't have to buy it from the company. Who gave you the device? Sometimes the conductive gels are great and there's like a lot of stuff in them that are good for your skin. But in general, conductive gels are goopy. They, you have to wash them off afterwards, which is why I, I like to use hyaluronic acid because since it's oil free, it's still a conductive gel, but um, it will soak into your skin and attract more moisture into your skin. So for the most part, I like to use a hyaluronic acid. This is my favorite, it's on my Amazon store, no affiliation here. But when you're looking at your body, this is $11.99, $11.99. So, I mean, you gotta cover a big area, this is what to do. So I just kind of mixed, I left a little hyaluronic acid in the bottom of that. I'm gonna stick a little conductive gel in here. Now for both microcurrent and radio frequency, we need conductive gel, right? Um, oh, sorry. Um, very cool. I live in China. Okay, I'll continue to double up on the college. Yeah, anytime, even when I did the dermaplaning uh, yesterday. So if you guys saw yesterday's live, I dermaplaned half of my face and then I used um, a shaving cream and shaved half of my face. And I, the, the, hello, um, tongue twisted. Um, the goal of that was to see, I wanted to see which one gave a smoother result. And I was actually shocked because with a new double blade razor and shaving cream, I would have thought that this one would have been closer and, and more smooth and it wasn't. The dermaplaning, even now this morning, as I'm feeling my face, this side of my face is much smoother. And that was the, the, the one that I, yeah, even my forehead, it's much smoother on the dermaplane. And that was done on dry skin, 45 degree angle, and you shave just little tiny things. So, okay, I'm gonna do my arms. Ooh, I saw myself in my dress yesterday and I just thought, you know, this, we, we can't neglect other body parts just because, you know, we can cover them up. Our skin is our skin and it covers our whole body and it is our largest organ. So why not take care of all of it? So anytime I have free time, um, or there's something that's just like that kind of bu bugs me, then I, yeah, I, let's, let's address it. If I can get this. Oh, come on. Oh, here we go. There we go. Okay. Now I'm on body. This is the Metacube. It's on my Amazon store. I'm on body. I'm on full. So we're going to get, yeah, I get the tingle. Ooh, yeah, I got the tingle. Okay, so here's what I'm doing. Now I can see if you guys have any questions, I'm using an upward motion. This is microcurrent with muscle stimulation. So not only, see if I were to, let me see if you can see it. I'm feeling the microcurrent. It feels like, like little electricity going through, um, but it also is kind of like a pulsing where I can, I can have some muscle contraction. It feels good though. It's just good to, feels good for lymphatic drainage. So even if this was, if I had this off and I did this numerous times, moving the fluid towards the armpits, cause we've got drainage. I hate to show you my armpits, I'm sorry you guys. Um, but we've got drainage in the lymph, that whole lymph node underneath the arm. So, ooh, you just got that little, all of a sudden my hand went, <laughs> it just kind of twitched. Um, so even if I didn't do anything, but if I had this off, and I'm pu pulling this towards that lymph node in the, in the underarm, it's already going to, this doesn't hurt at all, no, it's already going to look a little bit less, you know, there's gonna be a little bit less to sag down. And that's just because 
the fluid will be, you know, lymphatically drained from this area. But now, in addition to the device, the shape of it, we're doing, um, we're doing microcurrent and electromuscle stimulation. So sometimes you'll see my little, my hand go like that. That's because the microcurrent has hit like a little nerve and I get a little zinger. It, this does not hurt you guys. It does not hurt at all. Okay. Ooh. But every once in a while you'll see like my whole hand twitch. Okay, I hope you guys are having a great Sunday. What is it? It's, uh, is it August 6th? I think it's August 6th, oh my God. Um, since what age did you start workouts and doing treatments? I feel like I have been, I've been an athlete my whole life, I would say that. Um, before high school, I was in every, like in junior high, I was in every, every, you name a sport at school, I did it. I even did long jump, high jump, and I was like 5'2 at the time. So I've done, I do everything. I was on the basketball team, volleyball, cheerleading, you name it, I did it. Softball for years, competitive gymnastics, um, so for, I think my whole life I've been into movement and what that does for for everything. Not only for what you look like, but mentally how you feel. You know, how much grit do you have? How can you push through something? That all came from being in sports and from from being, you know, an athlete my whole life. And now I'm, just a, I'm a 500 hour yoga instructor, but I just got that for my own sense of well-being and I lift weights three days a week. And there's oftentimes when I'm just like in the kitchen cooking, I could be in the kitchen cooking and my, my husband will come in and I'm leaning up against the counter doing like leg lifts, you know? So movement and just keeping your body moving and keeping your muscles strong, that's always been something um, that I've always done. In terms of treatments like this, I mean, I bought my first wrinkle cream at the age of 15, even though I didn't have wrinkles. It wasn't so much trying to fix something as it was a fascination in what different things do, right? What do they do? How does this work? Um, what is this product claiming to do? And how can they, they claim to do that? And so it was like that. It was kind of investigative work. So I've been doing it for a long time. Um, but like something like this, I, the last time I probably did this to the back of my arms was six months ago. So it's just like when I feel like, okay, if this was really, if this was one of my main issues that I didn't like, when I looked in the mirror or that I was self-conscious about. It's more about being self, if it bugs me, if I'm, if I'm completely trying to cover up my arms because I'm not happy with the way that they look, I'd be doing this every day, right? But that's not my main issue. So when I see a picture and I'm like, oh, I can do better than that. Let me do a few treatments. That's when I do this. So if you guys have not had my pro, gotten my protocol, you can DM me protocol. I'm looking around, I can't even see it here. Let me see if I have it right here. Hold on one sec. Me, me, you. No, it's not my protocol. I don't know what happened to that. I just have my microneedling protocol here. So every Sunday, I usually microneedle. I can't microneedle now because it's too close to the wedding. So I don't want to. I don't want to try to heal from that this close to the wedding. So right now, let's see how much more time I have. This thing will automatically shut off. Um, but if you don't have my protocol on how I fit in all the anti-aging devices, skincare gadgets on a weekly basis, this it, this is like an extra thing that I'm throwing in because I just saw a picture last night. <laughs> um, but this isn't something that I normally do all the time. But if you were somebody where you don't like the way your elbow hangs, so now you can kind of see, I can't even see myself, but this is the, the, this is the one that I, I'm doing right now with microcurrent. This is the one that I haven't done. I don't know, I don't see any difference yet, but we'll see. We're gonna keep going. Remember, even if you don't see a difference, you I'm telling you, there's something happening because I can feel it. So when we look at the health of the skin, this is, this is helping trick the skin into behaving like it did when it was in its 20s. That's what we're doing here. So whether or not you see it automatically right away, it's still doing something. Oh, thank you. Um, I wish I could see you guys' faces. Okay, somebody said, my daughter is like that. She reads the ingredients on products she uses on her skin and hair. And she's also an athlete. She washes her face every night. Good, if we can get your daughter to use sunscreen every single day, prevention, you guys is the easiest ways. I subscribed to your videos on Instagram, but didn't see microneedling video for the neck. 
Um, it's, are you in the subscription club? If you're in the subscription club on my main feed, when you, see, you can click, click on that little crown and when you click on that crown, it will give you my subscriber feed, which is all of those tutorials. I have radio frequency tutorials. I have microneedling tutorials. Um, and so that should be in there. So if you're a subscriber, you can DM me. And I, if you can't find it, I'll send you a link to that. Okay, let's see. Let me see. I think I want to do a different modality. There we go. I'm going to do it on the slim mode and let's see how, if this feels any different. Put a little bit more conductive gel. And then I'm going to do RF on the other one and maybe we can see a difference. I don't know. I've never done that comparison before. Okay. Any questions, you guys? <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm like run down right now. Uh, I think I'm going to do a down day. If anybody has anything good that they've been binge watched on Netflix, I would love it. Today is like a day before I hit the week, the rest of the week running on Monday. Um, cause that's like the countdown really for the wedding. So if you guys have any great shows that you like, send them my way. Cause I'm going to, I'm going to do a little stretching after this, maybe some meditation. I'm going to ground in the front yard and then I'm just going to take the rest of the day off. I'm not working today. Normally Saturday and Sundays are my big work days because I'll do my two lives and then I create content. You know what? My arm just feels better after that. So I don't know. I'm gonna look, let me look over here. My arm just feels better. It feels a little lighter and that's probably the fluid that I'm pushing out of this. So remember I told you guys, even if this wasn't um, microcurrent, if it wasn't microcurrent and I'm still like squeezing, you see how it just gets the skin in there? I'm already pushing the fluid out. And so by lymphatically draining that, um, we are reducing the size and, and stuff like that of the back of the arm. So it won't hang as much over the elbow, if that makes sense. So let's see, I'm gonna stop doing that. I'm gonna RF, I might come back to that, but I'm gonna RF the other one. Let me see real quick. I'm gonna go look in the mirror myself, you guys, unless you guys can tell me. I'm gonna look in the mirror myself and then you can tell me if you see a difference. Hold on one sec. Okay. Oh my God, it's so hard to see. I don't think that you can. Can you guys see that? I don't know, this arm, this hand just, this arm feels a little bit lighter. I think it's my, it might be a little too subtle to see, but I'm gonna RF now the back of this one. And then I don't think you guys, I, the, the, um, hormone specialist, oh, let me take a drink of coffee first. Hold on. The hormone specialist, Dr. Barbara Taylor, I'm solidifying. She had to cancel it the last minute, um, for yesterday. And so I did the shaving instead yesterday. She's rescheduling, I think for the 19th. So I will, I'll make sure that I let you guys know that, but you don't want to miss that show. If you're over the age of 30, it has to do with hormone fluctuations as we age. And what does that do in terms of weight gain, in terms of foggy brain, sleeping, hot flashes, all of that. Um, so she's going to, she's definitely coming on again. I had such a good show with her the first time she came on and so many questions after that. So I wanted to bring her back on. She just had some scheduling conflict at the last minute. So I think she's gonna come on after the wedding, the weekend after the wedding on the 19th, but I'll let you guys know. You don't wanna miss that show, you guys. Because it's, it's interesting when you think about hormone replacement for your exterior looks, you know, in terms of weight gain, in terms of hair loss, in terms of those kind of things. It's quite different when you look at it in terms of healthy aging from the inside. Because when your hormones fluctuate, you increase your risk of um, neurodegenerative diseases like Parkinson's, dementia, Alzheimer's. You increase your risk of heart attacks and immediately your bone density starts decreasing by one to 3% per year. So that's why women are at more risk for, um, for fractures and for things like that, hip replacements. There's far more, for, 
come on mouth, start working. There's far more fractures um, of women, women's bones than, um, than there are of men because when the estrogen dips is when we start losing bone density. So women are way more risk. So even just taking out the exterior of like what happens to our outsides when our hormones fluctuate, what happens to our insides is very important because we're at a lot more risk. Okay, so that'll be next week. I um, mean the weekend after that, I think. Okay, I'm gonna do RF, I'm on a high level. I wanna see if this will make a difference. All right, guys. And if you guys, there's any other shows that you'd like to for me to do, I'm always open to suggestions, right? There's some that I'm thinking of doing, such as um, the continuous glucose monitors and the aura rings and those kind of things, the ion patches, those wearable devices that, um, that help help us take control of our health. I'm thinking about doing a show on that. I'm thinking about doing a show on carbs and you know what are good carbs and what are bad carbs and things like that. So there's a lot of shows. I've got a functional medicine um, or a functional, sorry, a functional trainer that we're trying to schedule as well so that we can find out what do you have to do now to help it to where you don't have a frozen shoulder when you get older. What do we do now to keep our flexibility? What are we doing now to make sure when we're 80 or 90, we can reach to that top shelf? Um, how do we, what do we do now to work on our balance? How you, what the things that you're doing right now affect how you get old. They affect your function as you get old. Okay, um, sorry. Do you monitor your ketones? Not really. Um, hold on. I don't monitor my ketones, but, I, but I'm, I'm interested in all of those wearable devices. So I've been intermittent fast. Oh, you guys, I'm starting a fast today. For anybody who wants to join me, I'm starting a fast, a five-day fast mimicking um, diet from Prolon. It'll be my third time I will have done it. Um, I just wanted to clean out my system and um, fit a little nicer into my mother of the bride dress, if I'm gonna be completely honest. And so I thought, um, we had the party last night at my future in-law's house, and we decided that, I decided, sorry, that I would start the fast today, and I would end on Thursday, and then that really kind of sets me up for all of the wedding festivities. So I'm gonna start that. If anybody's interested in starting that fast with me, I am starting today. But if you're interested in getting that fast, I can get you a bit of a discount. So just DM me the word Prolon and I'll send you that, um, I'll send you that discount code, okay? And then we can always try it next time or you can come back over. You know, I'm gonna be documenting my, my whole experience with the five day fast, what, I'm, what the package comes with, what I'm eating every day. And so you guys can kind of, uh, you know, see. So if you want to order your kit, then you can just look back over my content and um, we can, you can see like the experience that I had with it. Let me see if there is, I think I missed. What do you eat on your fast? It comes with that Prolon fast. It's a fast mimicking diet. So you can't, um, you, you can eat, but you have to eat the packaged food in there. And it's a very strategic way that Dr. Walter Longo did it. If you did it in such a way that you still have autophagy, so on day three is when all that cellular debris gets repurposed, restructured, um, made healthy again, or it's gotten rid of with your, from your body. And that's um, still with minimal amount of food, but you'll have like a mushroom soup or you'll have like a lentil soup. They have a packaged um, thing that has like a little nut bar in it. There's vitamins that you take. It's a whole kit that you get. I wish I would have brought it up here. I didn't think I was going to be think, talking about it. But it's a whole kit that you get that um, gives you day one, day two, day three. They're all boxed individually. So it's super, super simple. You're not starving to death. but I t And you get like, your brain fog is a little bit lifted. I sleep much better. And my thought process is clearer. You just feel lighter. Your stomach feels better. So it's, it's good. So it's now gonna be the third time. Is it the third time or fourth time I did it? Um, I think this will be the, this might be the fourth time. 
So like every three months or so, I'll do one of these five day fasts. Okay, let me see if I'm gonna do this on it. I'm gonna turn this now to the EMS plus photon. So EMS is electric muscle stimulation. It still has RF. So I'm still doing RF. And now I'm gonna do, just like that one, I'm gonna do a little, just like the Metacube, I'm gonna do a little muscle stimulation here. Oh God, uh, okay, that's okay. <laughs> to test it out. Hi, honey. Oh, my husband just brought this for me. Okay, as soon as I, yeah, okay, hold on one second. We're gonna get to it. He brought me the, the fast so you guys can see what that's about. Right now I have to concentrate because this one is like ding, 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 ding. Look, see that? That's, that's muscle stimulation. So this is RF, I can feel it heating up. I don't wanna keep it stagnant for too long, um, but I can feel it heating up. So that's already kind of tickling that collagen, kind of restructuring it, calling on my body to kind of go and produce more. That's why I'm gonna double up on my collagen today, you guys, because this is doing something where I'm gonna to need to rebuild a little bit of the collagen in there. So I'm gonna take two tablespoons twice a day or four times a day. Today, I'll take one tablespoon each. Does the Lumo tighten the skin area and is it worth the price? You guys, this is an expensive device. I'm gonna say this in terms of, I get this question all the time. I'm so glad you asked that. It's a very good question. In terms of all of the devices that are out there on the market, you wanna, you wanna first look at what modality am I, what am I trying to treat, right? If you're trying to treat something like crepey eyelids and the, the skin around your eye, and that is like your number one concern, you don't want this. This doesn't do that. If your main concern is, I wanna lift up my jowls and tighten all of this lower face and underneath the chin and chisel out my, my jawline, this is the device for you, right? If you're wanting to, like I said, if you've got crepey eyelids, the one that I love for that, sorry, the one that I love for the crepey eyelids is microneedling. So if this is your main concern, this isn't gonna help with that. Then you wanna do a microneedling around, around the eyes, right? So it's, what are your main concerns? And then if you're following my weekly protocol, what devices don't you have? What modalities, not the devices, what modalities don't you have? If you already have the new face and you have been using that and you don't have a red light therapy mask, get the red light therapy mask instead of another microcurrent machine. You would already have to. Wait for one of them to die. Don't waste your devices, start using them. The new face is a great device. Mine recently just died and so it's, you know, that's now goes to my gadget graveyard. And, um, and then I use what is way better, sorry, it's in a plastic bag, the Myolift Mini. So don't, you, but you don't wanna buy this because these are investments, you guys, you wanna get your use out of them. The only reason why you would buy two microcurrent devices is if your first one was shit. <laughs> sorry, if it was like a bad microcurrent device, it doesn't work. It doesn't, you know, it's not, it's not, uh, uh, you just got ripped off. Then you want to like, let's spend the money and get like the, a machine that's, that's really effective. But if you already have a microcurrent device, don't do that first, get an RF device first or get, you know, a red light therapy mask first or the panel, do some, the mic, the micro needling tool, the Dr. Penn micro needling tool. You want to, you know, aim for the modalities that you don't have after you've determined what are the things that are bothering you the most? What do you want to treat? This helps to tighten the skin. It heats the dermis up between, um, it's 40 and 42 degrees Celsius. It keeps the dermis at that heat, which is collagen stimulating. It also has muscle um, contraction on here. So this is a great device. I like it, I, I love it. It's my favorite RF device. The reason too is because the head is still a good size head to do your face. I really kind of only focus on my lower face and neck, but it's a good, it's a big enough head to where you can do your full body. Where if you have another device, if you're like, I only want to use it on my face, I don't have any problems with my body, then this head would be fine. But you see how small this is? If I were to do this here, well, you're looking at a lot more area, you know, a lot more that I'm going to have to treat. Look at the difference in that. It's like three times the size. So you're gonna get 
a more even, you know, what you don't want to do is heat up one part of your arm and not the other consistently because then you can get like ripples and stuff. So I would never use this on my body. I would never use this on my body. So if you want an RF device that can use, you can use for both the face and the body, you want something with a big enough head like this or, oh my gosh, hold on one second, you guys. I'm going to show you something. One second. This is one I'm testing out. Or you could do something like this. I don't think I have the other thing. This is by Malay. And you see how this head is also big? It's not quite as big as this one, but it's also big. And then it unscrews and they have a smaller one on it. So it just depends on what it is that you want to treat, right? What is it, what is it that you want to treat? And that's the device that you want to get first. If you're just like, I want all over, just skin, refreshing, evenness, you know, fine lines, wrinkles, just even kind of skin, you're looking at, you want a red light therapy mask. So it just depends on what you're trying to, to treat. That's the one that you wanna buy first. Don't, don't double up on your devices because you don't think you have the best one on the market. It's a moving target, you guys. The best one on the market changes all the time. And if something else comes, comes along that's better, I'm gonna jump ship for sure. I want the best one. I'm gonna show you guys what that is, right? Okay, hold on. Let me see if there was a difference. I'm using that as, I don't know. I feel like this one feels so much tighter. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going. And I have to say the muscle stimulation on this one was a lot more intense than this. Um, and I don't know if that's maybe because it was the back of the arm. I couldn't feel it as much because when I do my face with this, it really does. Um, you're like the, you know, your whole, you get this thing. <laughs> so it really does work. Okay. Um, I am going to go back to the EMS and on the highest level and I'm going to continue to do this. Um, I probably have like, what time is it? Yeah, I have about 10 more minutes and then we'll be able to see. Okay, do you guys have any questions about anything? That was a really good question. Yes, it is worth the money. Yes, it's super expensive. If you guys want a list of my top um, RF devices, just DM me RF or radio frequency and I'll get you um, my list. But this is the, the one that I like the best. Something else came along that was better or if I'm testing out this Malay machine and I'm like, that is really, that is so much better. I'm gonna jump ship on this one. So don't think that I'm ever tied to a company because I can get you guys a discount because that's not, that's not my bread and butter. I what I love to do and what I, I'm doing a lot more of is the one-on-one -on -one consultation. So that and like, you know, spending some time in the Instagram club. I have a question about the red light. What does it do to the skin? So red light therapy, it's a certain wavelength. You guys cannot just shine red light therapy on something or sorry, you can't just shine a red light on something and call it red light therapy. It has to be in that therapeutic wavelength. And that is the best devices are a combination of red and near infrared. And so when you're doing red, you want it between 630 and 680 nanometers of wavelength of that light. And the near infrared is between 800 and 880 nanometers. So when you're looking for a device, you want to make sure that you have that in that therapeutic wavelength and what it does for the skin to answer your question is that it bypasses the epidermis. It hits the, the skin at a cellular level. So it's, um, yeah, somebody just said this. I keep forgetting I have this on. Um, and the, and let me finish the red light therapy thing and then I'll talk about that. Um, it, it hits your, your skin on a cellular level and it increases ATP. So if you guys remember in high school biology, you know that ATP, the mitochondria produces ATP, it energizes the cell. So when you're doing red light therapy, there's the, the amount of stuff that it helps is there's a list a mile long, but I'll go over a few fine lines and wrinkles, um, skin tone and texture. So uneven skin tone and texture, melasma, hyperpigmentation. It helps with inflammation, um, with muscle recovery after a workout, it evens the whole skin tone, um, and texture it helps with texture. Um, what else does it do? It, when you're looking at the panels, the red light therapy panels, it boosts mood, it decreases anxiety and depression, 
Um, there's a lot of studies about that. It helps with sleep so that that uh, sleep-wake pattern is, is aided when you're using red light therapy consistently. So there's a lot going on there, right? Um, if you were to invest, this is a great question, if you're investing in one of these gadgets, which would you recommend we start with? Again, you guys, it depends on what your specific concern is. If, you're, if you say to me, I have creepy eyelids and it's, it's starting to make me look older, then you can ask, what would you invest in? And then I would say a microneedling tool and probably one of the sonic vibration tools that heats up and lymphatically drains. That's if that's your biggest concern. If you're, if you're 30 and, or whatever and you don't have these concerns anymore, if your concern is lower eyelids, somebody just said lower eyelids. If that's your concern, you want a microneedle, you want to do, you can do a red light therapy mask. That's a great thing to do as well. But your main thing, if you're, if your lower eyelids are crepey, microneedling, because it will thicken the skin and reduce fine lines and wrinkles. If it's bags, you want to do a sonic vibration and lymphatically drain that, right? It depends on what it is you're trying to treat, right? The best device is going to be the one that's specific to what your needs are. How many times should I microneedle? Um, if you don't have my microneedling protocol, you guys DM me microneedling. Woo, wait, look at this. Let's see if this will do. Yeah, look at my hand. Oh, <laughs> this is like intense, intense, you guys. Um, I'm gonna put this down on the EMS now. This is a little bit less intense. Okay, um, so if you don't have my microneedling protocol, DM me microneedling. It gives you all of the speeds and needle lengths and depths and all of that um, that I use on ev on each body part. Um, somebody just said falling jowls. Falling jowls. Okay, you guys. I'm gonna show you. Tell you guys the biggest mistake people make when they're doing filler. Do not ever fill your face down here. This is not where you lose fat. You lose fat as you age in your temples and on your cheeks. So by when you're when you're going to a do doctor's office, you know I often say like. They, there's a big markup on filler. So when you go to a doctor's office and they say, you say, oh, I just, my, I have these jowls, what do I do? If you've got a whole, you know, cupboard full of filler, everything looks like, oh, I could just add some filler to that. You have a whole cupboard, like if you have a whole cupboard full of hammers, everything looks like a nail. The biggest mistake I think people are making is putting filler down here to, to cover up your jowl that you're not losing fat here. You're losing fat here. Now look what happens. You see how that automatically helps this area here. So the person who asked what device would I use if your concern is the falling jowls, I think radio frequency that tightens this up and chisels underneath those, um, the cheekbones and on that jawline helps to pull that whole area. So if that's your main concern, you, if you had to choose between a microneedling device and a radio frequency device, if your concern is the jowls, you go for the radio frequency. Okay, does that make sense, you guys? Okay, um, I think I'm almost done here, but I'm gonna do one more swipe. I just wanna get a good uh, demo because it's been a little bit of time between each one and I wanna make sure that I'm not, um, being biased. So I'm gonna, cause I have an idea of what I think did better. Okay, you've really helped. Oh, somebody said I really helped. You really helped guide me on how to take care of better care of my skin and body. Thanks a million. You guys, this, I love, I love doing this. I, actually, I love doing this. I love helping people. I'm so glad you guys are learning something. You guys, the biggest compliment you can give me is to share my stuff with your friends. If it's helping you, us women have to stick together. If it's helping you, help somebody else, right? Pass the stuff along. Okay. I'm going to talk really quickly about this um, skin patch because somebody asked me that. Um, what, what I do is I'm a side sleeper and so I always sleep with this silicone patch on and the reason is because it helps, well let me turn this off for a second, <clears throat> sorry, it helps to keep that skin stable just like Botox. Think of it like Botox, right? Hello. Um, think of it like Botox. If you get Botox, it paralyzes that muscle so you can't get the creases in your skin. When you're wearing something like this, no matter how you turn, the, the thing might crease, but my skin is not. See, my skin is hugging in there. 
So when you're putting a patch on like this, if you're sleeping on your side at night, what will this will do? Well, it will prevent those lines that go like this that then become etched in and permanent. Just like if you didn't get Botox on your forehead ever in your life, the expression lines are going to etch uh, eventually some permanent lines into your face. This is the same for this. If I didn't use this, and you can, I can tell a difference if I fall, if I fall asleep with this on, I mean, if I fall asleep and I don't have this on, the next morning I will have temporary lines. In fact, I'm gonna take a picture. Oh, I don't wanna sleep without it. I'm gonna wait till after the wedding. <laughs> I'll wait till after, after the wedding. And then I'll do one night where I don't sleep with this. I'll take a picture and show you guys, this is what could happen in eight hours of sleep. And if you do that consistently without using something like this, that will become permanent. So think of it like Botox in terms of the physical, um, the physical, uh, what do you call it? Movement of the skin, the physical movement of the skin. Another way that this works though, is it's creating a perfect environment. And really it's a silicone, it's medical grade silicone with an adhesive back. It's on, my, it's on my Amazon store. This is my favorite one. There's a lot of, listen, as long as it's medical grade, um, as long as it's medical grade silicone and it has an adhesive back, it does the trick. This one happens to be a little bit thicker, so I like it a little bit more. And the, the um, adhesive on this one, I have found for the chest, lasts the longest. This is by Silsior, no affiliation at all. I put it on my Amazon store so you guys can see. Um, one patch, see it's just silicone with an adhesive back and one patch will generally last, um, I wanna say it'll last me about eight or nine times before it then starts, stops sticking. So you don't put any cream or anything, it creates an environment to where there's no um, air or moisture or anything that can get onto the skin. So it's just flush on the skin and what that does is it draws the moisture from underneath from the deeper layers of the skin and it draws it up and it kind of plumps it up. So it's not just, you know, the lack of physical movement, but it's also drawing that moisture up from, from, the, from underneath. I hope that helped. Okay, you guys, let's look at the arms. I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell. I'll try to stand back. Okay, so this one I did with the MetaCube. This is on my Amazon store. I did this with the MetaCube. Um, there's some lymphatic drainage going on based because of the way that the device is made. Um, I did a, it with a little bit of, it's microcurrent and um, EMS, electric muscle stimulation. This one I did with the Lumo by Even Skin. I did an RF and uh, electric muscle stimulation. And I wanted to see if there was a difference. So I'm gonna turn around. You guys tell me, I don't expect that you'll see a big difference, but I can tell you which one to me feels tighter. So that's the back. You guys, it's normal to have wrinkles on your elbows. Honestly, how would we move if we didn't, all right? But it's about how can you lift that area up a little bit, which is why you don't just do microcurrent and RF around here. It's the whole thing is connected, right? So the whole thing, so I treat it all the way up to here because that's where you want to do the lift. So I wish I would have taken a picture before, but I think that this looks slightly better than before. And if I did the same thing here, I think this looks slightly better than before. So both of them, because of the muscle stimulation, work to kind of tighten that area up. Um, you know, I don't really think I have a winner, but if I had to pick, I would pick the RF because that one feels right now, just feel, just being in my body and feeling, you know, a half, 20 minute treatment on the back of each arm, um, this one feels a little tighter. Anyways, that's it. So there's multiple ways that you can treat that area, right? That's kind of what I'm showing you. And another way that you can do that is stand in front of a red light therapy panel, or you do microneedling on the back of your arms, which is in here, yep. Elbows, right here. How do I microneedle my elbows? How do I how do I microneedle the upper arms, the forearms? It's all in my microneedling protocol. So if you still want that protocol, DM me microneedling. Okay, you guys. Um, the parts that are sensitive to aging are the hands and yeah. It's it's not only um wait somebody said the hands, neck, and under eyes. Let me explain why. That's a good point. Those are the first parts to age, right? Our hands, our necks, our eyes. 
and around our mouths. And I'll tell you what, we're moving those, those constantly and the skin is much thinner. So anytime you've got very thin skin, which we have on our hands, which we have around our eyes, and because this is moving a lot, we, we oftentimes will lose collagen around the mouth as well, and the skin on our neck is super thin. So those are the first places that show aging. There's multiple things that you can do to help those, to help those things. Um, so how do you keep a small waist? Intermittent fasting for 30 years, sweetie. I've been doing this for a long, long time. I don't usually don't eat lunch until one. I keep my body burning fat. Um, I exercise, I sleep well. It's all it, you know, predominantly plant-based diet, microdosing my meat. It's all completely interwoven, right? The insides, how, what you do on your insides affect your mindset. Your mindset then helps you take care of your, your outsides a little bit more. So it's all, it's all, it's all like this. Right? Okay, you guys, I hope you have a great rest of your Sunday. I don't know if I will be here next week because it is my daughter's wedding next week. So if it works out that I happen to be doing last minute, oh, let me just do a little RF or let me do a little um, microcurrent or let me just kind of depuff something. If I'm doing something last minute, um, then I will for sure uh, turn on my live and we'll be here again at 11. So. Uh, somebody said, can you sleep? Do, can you do one on sleep? I can, uh, uh, that's a great, great suggestion, you guys, because sleep is so important. If you're not sleeping enough, you're making bad food choices. I know it doesn't seem like it's connected, but that's where the, that's, that's what the research is saying. So sleep is so, so important. That's a great idea. I'm going to, I'm going to put that in the list of stuff that I want to do on a live. So you guys, thank you so much. Tell your friends, I'll see you hopefully next Saturday. If not, it will be the week after that with Dr. Taylor for hormone replacement therapy and all things um, related to midlife. Okay. Oh, thanks. Congratulations for your daughter. Thank you so much. Okay, have a great rest of your weekend, you guys. I'm going to be, you know, doing a little meditation, a little grounding, having my mushroom coffee, and I'm taking the rest of the day off. So I hope you guys are having a peaceful, beautiful Sunday. And ooh, hopefully I'll see you next week when my daughter gets married. Bye.